Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. It's time for our hot topic. And now we're talking about the 9.56 trillion Naira allocation in five years to 774 local government areas still being underdeveloped. Um, I'm sure, as we all know, we lack basic health care, we lack basic infrastructure um, in most of these local government areas. And um, there's been an increase in the post-subsidy regime with at least about 9.56 trillion naira allocated to these local government um, areas. However, we're still seeing the lack in the development in these areas. But joining us to explain all of this and give us this well, valuable contributions, we have Dr. Ibrahim Usinowo, an enterprise and investment risk expert. He's on the phone with us this morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining the program. Good boy, thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, we're talking about 774 local government areas in Nigeria, and this is um, a size the CDAs that we have. About 9.56 trillion has been allocated to these areas, but we're still seeing the underdevelopment in all of this place. What is, you know, the inside? What have you seen so far? The overview uh, um, so far in these areas. Uh, good morning once again. Uh, uh, I think uh, we've discussed this issue many times. Uh, it's not about the funding of the local government. It's about the structure. It's about the constitutional, you know, tenants and you know, framework of the constitution. Uh, the local government law needs to be, you know, uh, reinforced. It needs, it needs to be right. Number one, uh, uh, how do people get into elected office? Obviously, it's in local government. Is it through by proxy or through the constitutional provision? These are the areas we need to look at. It's not about the funding, right? Now. If you are funding what is not well structured, then at the end of the day, I can assure you that you get nothing from it. Uh, if you look at the local government structure in Nigeria, uh, the democratic tenants is not there. A governor can just sit down and appoint people into local government areas. It's the uh, chef in the kitchen, the cleaner, you can make them local government chairman, irrespective of people's feelings of choice. Uh, and at the end of the day, this money we are talking about goes into uh, top parties and who claims to be chairman and co. Uh, some of the uh, elections are held virtually. Uh, if you are in a party A and you are leading a Taraba state as a governor, I can assure you that most of the local government in Taraba State will be appointed, not elected, appointed by the government mm -hmm. and the council. So any money coming from Abuja, uh, in terms of PAC or JAC, is going to stop party's hands. The framework, the legitimate framework, the constitutional framework establishing local government is not there. So what we need to do, not to talk about the point, is to structure how people get into offices in local government. You should hold the office holder accountable. Let the process of you know electing people there, you know, be transparent, be independent. Then we can talk about the funding. If you continue with this mode of funding local government, I can tell you that we are just uh, ordinary, you know, uh, sponsoring an elephant white elephant project. Mm. So it's not going to work. Okay, so if you look at it. Yeah, go ahead. If you look at it, at it right, of course, a lot of uh, funds that have approached the local government recently due to, you know, uh, subsidy of over a right. few, you know, uh, uh, locals that have been blocked by the present administration. But still, the effect is not there. The local government administration has been like, charged by some employers who talk to them, who sees local government money, who sees local government funds. And their country pipe, where they can fund their family, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, you know, uh, expect. So they've seen local government leadership has been buried on that problem. So we need to look at the framework. Talking about the funding. 
Okay, so um, 7.56 trillion, that is a lot of money, right? Seven In point, five years. Yeah, 7.56 trillion naira. Um, that's a lot of money. Where is all of this money going to if we still lack the basic education, the healthcare facilities, the roads, the social infrastructure that we need um, or that these local government areas need? How is this even accountable? Where is the money going to at the moment? And why can't we see how the monies are being spent? It is very simple. The aspect is very simple. We don't have to go far fresh. Now, when, for instance, Ogo State has 20 local government areas, I can bet you that all these trillions of Nera and Rafaji that have been approved to 704 go to the top When we are young, when I was young, little boy, Ogo State, uh, local government will do your inner route, they will do your power ATS and stuff. They will form family education, they will pay for streets, they will collect civil license, they will collect what they call tenement rate. Most of the state governments are I charge all this function from the local government. And none of these local government chairman can say anything. In fact, before some of them get into offices, they are, must have signed their check. Once you collect your jack from federal government monthly, this is this, this is their month that is coming, this is special. This is their most that is coming to this country. So all these monies we are talking about, 9.5 trillion accruing in five years, goes into top 40, 50 parties. And so the local government, who are the governor, the Senate governor, the local government, who are to provide all these amounts, who are to judiciously use this form we are talking about, for the betterment of the primary and grass root constituency. When not, when they, will, they will not be able to do all these things because the funds that ought, that ought to have been used for this amount that we are talking about are being stifled and stifled by their payment master. In fact, by their point of who put them of this to death. So, we, if we do a structure, we will continue to spend in the next five years, we will talk about another 20 trillion. Mm -hmm. So, we need to look at Structure, change the electoral process appointing or electing the government chairman and chancellor from the state governor. Take it from there, take it back to INE. We can take what we call uh, the National Independent, Independent Electoral Commission for local government so that we will not, we will not you know, uh, strangulate the INE right now. So you, we need to look at the framework. Governors must stop appointing local government chairman so that anybody that you I elected will hold them accountable. But when I appoint, I don't just ask you, my dear so to come, I'm now a governor, come and be the local government. Where you don't even know anybody, where you don't even have a primary and specific experience, no academic qualification, a, a governor will just take some. I've seen a governor that appointed his own driver who is absolutely a a, 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 I, I don't want to use some words. A old an old man of almost about seventy years, a sixty-five years, was appointed as a local government chairman. His first two years, this guy went up on the talking about for. This guy just go back. Oh God, what do I do with this money? Give this one. Give this one. Give this. So where, where is the primary education? Where is the inner road? Where is the uh, a primary healthcare center? Where are the street lights? Mm. My, so my, confusion, my confusion, confusion, doctor. My confusion, doctor. Uh, you look into the world to allow local to try go to any part of the world. I travel, you travel a lot. If you can imagine what London will work, just in London, a, a major in London, a local government chairman in London, is making is is in charge of all the council buildings. Is in charge of emission. Is the, uh, is the charge of transport management within the Boru, within the council in England. Now, and doctor, just a moment, doctor. Um, my confusion is in 2020, the president then, Mohammed Buhari, signed an executive order, I think in May 2020, executive order granting financial autonomy to local governments. And he asked the accountant general to deduct from source the money accruable to local government so that it doesn't have to go 
through the state accounts again. So why are we still talking about joint accounts with the uh, state governments at this time in 2023? What went wrong? Let me take you, let me, let me take you back to 2000, 2000 when General Bassmidor decided that, uh, I'm sure before that, if you are aware, if you can go back to history, when General Salam General Basha, most of the local government takes their phone directly. There is no joint account allocation, you know. But because Governor uh, President of Africa wants the governor, you know, to match a fight, what's going on in the local government, you know, situation in the country, if you call the governor, most of the people, okay, please, you guys, once this money is coming to, I can't be paying into this account and this account. If you are from River State, for instance, you have 23 local government, I'm paying your own jack, your act, and I'm paying your, your local government jack, that joint account, into your state. They use this to move so that the federal government can focus on other areas of national security, defense, foreign policy. Those, these are the genuine intention of General Bakuto so that the local government and the funding can be you know, within the state government so that equitable distribution can go on. But at the end of the day, the government realize that it's another sort of remedy for themselves. So they can forcefully impose their protege on the local government administration. Now, what I would I hope I suggest is that this account can be scrapped. Let us continue the local government elect, elect, electoral process. Whereby, if I'm elected as a, as a Labour Party local government uh, chairman in Kansas and the government is the AP, if my money is coming and don't give me my money, I will go to the Federal High Court for Court of Appeal to challenge the government. Because I'm elected by the people, you are, you are, I'm not appointed. I will go to the, we will fight from federal high court to Supreme Court to the federal allocation. Not general priority that he said that he was in office is to want it to tamper with the uh, base. But if, if you look at it, this is the president. Who stopped them to amend the law? He refused us of the House of Assembly to support that constitutional amendment to empower local government, to transfer the power of the to INEC. Then the president needs 23 states to support that amendment of the constitution. But they rejected it. The president could not get. So when he told the NFIA to, to, to freeze most of the accounts, to freeze most of the accounts, and pay directly, most of the even though so let's assume they pay directly to all these local government chairman. Will I call my own local government chairman? How much is the money there? You know, the next money you will not see the house of assembly or the council of removing the, the chairman. Look at the state, for instance, my dear state. There is a particular guy who said the local government chairman. Yeah. He's telling the governor. He told the governor that in the last three and a half years, I have never received so, 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 so. You know what happened, my dear brother? It was the moon. Hmm. The guy said, I could not provide good type of water. I could not provide just a family health center. I could not provide street life for my people. As a system elected chairman, I could not do this and that. The next thing is that he was to put out of office. So, I, so I hearing, you, hearing you speak now. Okay, okay sir. So hearing you speak now, are you saying that these monies are being um, possibly siphoned from the top because it's not, be, it's not trickling down to the local government areas? So what are you saying? How are the monies being taken out? If this chairman cannot even provide pipe bond water or um, primary health care centers, yeah, so what's, what's yeah, happening? Because you'll expect that even if the state is taking it, it mm -hmm. should... It should show. Still work yeah, for the it state. Should show in these local governments, if not the local governments it was meant to be. Let's see it in another thing. So if the state is using its own funds to run the state and to do the infrastructure that they're doing, what are they using the local government money to do? 
do you know that some of these governments, not this present governor, as in 2003, yeah. 2007, some of these governors use the local government for to do most of the state projects. Mm. Some of them flow from commercial banks and use the local government that pay as a collateral. Some of them, most of them, not some of them, most, virtually all of them. That is where this, once we notice that some of the local government chairman are getting wiser, they sack them and they appoint what they call solar person. So you can imagine most of the force. I just give you an example of a state now. For instance, if people should say the government, most of the governors refuse to conduct elections. Okay. Um... In some of the I have handled for World Bank, we've suggested that most of the most of the and borrows in England, United States, and Canada. Both of them have a portfolio, investment portfolio of insurance policy, you know, uh, housing policy, up to $94 billion a value in by local. Why, and why is it different? Why can't the local government come out being elected by the people? And make them accountable to the money. You can call a local government chairman in a small capacity. We, 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 we would expect them to elected. be elected because mm -hmm. I know they run elections. Um, they're the the elections for the local government chairman. Yeah. Um, and but or so, at least they are supposed. to. Yes, they're supposed to be. Yeah, not it's not supposed to come by appointment. It's supposed, they're supposed to be elected for this. But before we wrap it up quickly, because we're a little bit out of time, you talked about structure. What are um, some key structures that you think that needs to be put in place for us to you know, ensure that in the next five years we're not still facing um, this same thing that we're going through right now, we're not in the same situation? What are some structures that you want to highlight for people to um, get in and understand and then imbibe into those local government areas? Thank you so much. The first thing is the law. I am calling on the National Assembly to reignite the local government election administration. Number one, to take the power of election local government chairman from the state governor. Mm. All the election local government chairman's office and council is conducted by the national. Number two, once you start, once you start from that, it will trickle down. Right. People who decide to elect people into offices, not appointing them. You just mentioned, your colleague just mentioned that there's an election in local government in Nigeria. You and I know that there's no election in local government in Nigeria. Somebody who sits in an hotel and write a, a figure, a resource, a government in government tower, and tell you that it's an election. You can become a local government chairman tomorrow. I will not be surprised. A governor will just call you that, okay, I think I need you in your state. And they will appoint you. A local government that you have never, you know, been to. So the law needs to be strengthened. State of jack has joint account allocation from the government. You fund it directly. But I can do it with the first structure, first it cannot do it. Until you take the power of electing local government chairman from there, so it's open. Labour Party can win it. This local government right. in Victoria Island, in new local government, anybody can win. They physically can win. But not that the governor will sit down and write this list of local government chairman. They will just call a shadow election and somebody will sit down in the Bia Palo and write a result that this is the person. How many local government elections how many local government elections have you seen in this country that opposition will a chairman? Mm. At once every five will just one councillor, two councillors, they will just give it two stuff, one stop council. But the local government chairman who will control the resources or who will have access to funds can never be from opposition. Unless that your government but you are from the past of So we need to start from that. That's the basic. In fact, my sister, that's the basic. You just have to stay in the natural. Take the power away from them. Put it on high neck. High neck set a subsidiary that will conduct the election. Then we can start from there. 
Mm. Without that, I can tell you we'll come back to this story in the next five years, well, which is going to be another not. 20 trillion. Well, Dr. Luna, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. We wish we had more time to go in depth on this. Sadly, we need to wrap it up right now on this segment. Thank you so much for joining us and your valuable contributions. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Have a All right, we've been talking to Dr. Ibrahim Oshinawa. He's an enterprise and investment risk expert. And we've just been talking about the local government having about 9.56 trillion naira in five years allocation. Um, however, this local government seems underdeveloped, but we're hoping that things will get better they and in the next one. They mm. don't even seem, they are, <laughs> are underdeveloped. Yeah. Um, I know a situation where um, sometimes they say, we're giving you 5 million naira to um, you, a local government chairman. You sign for 5 million naira <clears throat> and you end up getting maybe 1.5 or 1 million naira. I've seen this. Uh, I know it for a fact that it right. happens. So even when they say the money is coming to you, uh, you get pittance for, for the humongous amount that is being called that you are getting. And mm. you sign it. I don't know whether it's a cult or something <laughs> that they do. I don't know. But also, I'm wondering, he said something about making sure that the elections take place. We have a sitting governor who is mm. elected in a state that is being dictated to by a godfather. And he, I mean, that's still so, happening right here in so River State. So whether it's election or no election... Mm. Mindsets have to have to change. Yeah, I mean, even if there needs bought, to be that paradigm shift. you bought a form for me, it doesn't mean if you marry a wife for me, you have to be the one who. You know. <laughs> 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 okay, that's what we're going to wrap it up on today's show. It's been amazing having you there, just um, watching us and listening and getting all the knowledge that you can on our today's breakfast show. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be our final show before, before Christmas, Christmas, and mm -hmm. I'm quite excited for that one. Yeah. But we'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Rumet Paulson. And I am Yamgul Agaji. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs>